Happy Bali. How can we make the most out of Ramadan this year? Come see how our family does Ramadan prep. If you're like most Muslims, you might be looking forward to this Ramadan so you can turn over a new leaf, become the best version of yourself. But what most Muslims don't know or realize that usually unnecessary life stress and distraction in Ramadan often end up sabotaging our seemingly foolproof plans. No worries, I have a solution. In this video, I'm going to give my tried and true tips for overcoming those hurdles by getting your house and family organized in a way that will actually allow you to have time for yourself. If you watch to the end of the video also, I'll give you my link in secrets on how I get myself spiritually pumped and prepped as well. Let's get started. One of my first tips is not to underestimate the importance of getting those errands done before Ramadan. Yes, the ones you might have procrastinated about or put off. These things will just end up keeping you busy and throwing you off your game. I usually spend about three to four weeks before Ramadan making sure I get all those little errands done. Purchasing things, getting my kids haircuts, dropping off papers, whatever it is. This way I don't have to do any of that while I'm fasting. Instead, my fasting's easier, it keeps me in a better mood, and allows me to focus on what I want to focus on, developing myself. It's far too easy to blame our situation, the house, the kids, for why we're not becoming better. But when you take all distractions away, there's nothing left but yourself. Something that can be super frustrating and unnecessarily difficult is having a disorganized space while you're fasting. I don't know about you, but like when things are cluttered all around me, my mind feels cluttered as well. So get your family into it. Get them organized. Every year I have my children go through their clothes, check their tags, see what fits them, doesn't fit them. The things that don't fit them, we gift them to someone else who can use them better than us. And this is also something that's good for sadaqa, like sadaqa in action during Ramadan, right? So we tend to use the Marie Kondo method of um, organizing and folding in our house and you think little kids can't do it but watch how my kids get their stuff organized without much input from me I can do it too <laughs> <laughs> Another one? I think they go in your other drawer, so just do what you can. So food in the kitchen are a big deal on Ramadan. I jump right into the kitchen, I start wiping down and organizing cabinets. Now if it seems overwhelming, guys, don't worry, do it bit by bit. Sometimes I do a cabinet a day or a drawer a day. But just having these things organized, taking stock of what inventory I have before Ramadan helps me save money and stay calm. I'm not a super mom, so I don't have a label machine. I just stick labels in like this. I have everything organized so I know what I have um, in front of me for cooking. Um, I tip to wipe down the spices, get everything all the gook out, and just kind of makes me feel clear-headed and excited for the month in cooking. I will have some recipes posted in the upcoming videos, don't worry guys, but for now I just want to let you know that I do pre-plan all my recipes. I have them in a Google Drive. If you like to use a folder, it's up to you. We tend to make four different kinds of sambusa. We do uh, pre-cooked beans, we pre-cooked grains, things that'll usually take a long time saves time and we make little like iftar bites that the kids like to get them excited for breaking fast. So tip four is organizing your car. You might be thinking what does that have to do with Ramadan? It has a lot to do with it. Children tend to um, fight, you can find things. Again, anything organized makes your life easier. I have a whole separate video on how I organize my car exactly. I have things for my children to keep them busy that are cheap and easy. And keeping them busy means less stress while fasting. I'll put the link at the end of the video.
So my last tip is for homeschooling families. If you're a homeschooling family like we are, you might want to take out all the books that you don't need for the next 30 days and bring in the ones that you will. I mean, a lot of people do different schedules, much lighter schedules, arts and craftsy things. We tend not to because we want to make sure that we finish the curriculum, but we definitely just put more emphasis on other things over others and we do um, include a lot of opportunities for the children to do good deeds more than usual and to do things collectively as a family more than usual. I have a Ramadan 2019 schedule. We tend to work in blocks in that time. I talk about it a little bit more on my Instagram, IGTV. My Instagram will be linked below. Um, also linked below, I will put this, uh, the video that I use for my Ramadan schedule and goals with my kids. We use this packet. We use it daily. It's really nice. I have a whole nother video. I will link it at the end that you could check out. And this is my uh, Quran that we use. It has pictures, but it doesn't have like faces or anything so don't worry it is so engaging and such great conversations come out of it regarding like some calendars I purchased one guys but it didn't come yet so I can't show you but we either purchase them or we we make them ourselves DIY we put little prizes and, and candies or whatever it is that you put for your, your family in the pockets and at the end of the day from fasting or doing good deeds they love to run and go get them I hope this was really helpful guys don't forget to have a great Ramadan, inshallah, and share this with a sister that you love.